Right now, the students are working on a mural project at the Sterling Library. They've worked all semester uh, studying the history of Chicano Latino art and now get to make their own contribution to the city of Beta. All of us right now, all these students you see here, we're, we're enrolled in a, a Hispanic and Chicano art class with a focus on murals because murals was a big part of the Chicano art movement, a big part of the Mexican muralist movement. So the whole idea at the end of the, the end project as a class is that we we're going to work together as a whole to put up a mural. This is the first mural I've ever done and that was one of the reasons I wanted to join the class was we were going to do a mural as our final project and that was really exciting to me. Everybody's taking on a different aspect. Uh, there's some students that are doing most of the painting, some students did the design. The emphasis sometimes is less on the expertise and more on uh, art being a way to bring people together. A big part of the mural is for all of us to work collectively and it has the Baytown theme because murals were always supposed to reflect their community. Like posters to say, hey, this is what's going on. Hey, these are the issues. We try to do that here. So maybe it's a very simple image, but there's a lot of meaning to the things they were putting up there. I would say the piece kind of has a balance of the, the key aspects of, of Baytown, the key buildings, the key landmarks. It also brings in some of the landmarks that are important to the Latino community. I really enjoyed it. I felt like I got a lot out of it and I learned stuff from this class that I don't think I would have learned through just my daily life or other art history courses. Really, It's a really incredible experience that I'm grateful to have had. This is important because students write dozens of papers every semester and then they go into a folder and they disappear. A mural kind of stays with you. It's, it's a gift to the community. And so we're ho really hoping that this will help get more public art into Baytown, get more people interested in, in creating their own art.